Sabbath, everybody. Happy Sabbath. Praise the Lord for those five selections. And I'm still going to tease y'all about getting a, a real choir going on here, sisters and brothers. We need it. We need it. So, you know, I, I pray the Lord put it on uh, somebody's heart to uh, uh, spearhead that whole thing. But anyhow, uh, those were some good selections. So praise the Lord uh, for that. And welcome, everybody, back to uh, the Israel of God here in Phoenix. It's good to stand before you guys on the Lord's Sabbath day. Um, I'm Brother Justice. For those of you who don't know me and reading for me today is our beloved Brother Wendell. Um, and we're going to open up with the law as we always do, sisters and brothers here at the Israel of God. So we're going to start this off in Exodus, the 20th chapter. All right, praise God. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images, or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy mother and thy father, that thy days may be upon that that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Yes, sir. And that's the covenant, sisters and brothers, the old as well as the new. Um, you can read that Exodus, the 34th chapter, uh, Jeremiah 31, Hebrews 8 and 9 uh, and 10, sisters and brothers, that show you the difference between the old and the new covenant. Um, only uh, a difference with the new covenant is founded upon better promises by the blood of Jesus. Now let's go into Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, and show you that this is our whole duty, sisters and brothers. This is our whole reason for being here. 
uh, Ecclesiastes 12, and we want verses 13 and 14, my brother. Yes, sir. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment, whether it, with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. That's right. So this is what you're going to be judged by, sisters and brothers, by keeping uh, the Lord's uh, uh, commandments. And uh, everything that you do in the dark, he's going to bring it to light, sisters and brothers. But that's the whole duty of man. Now let's go into Revelations, the 20, uh, 22nd chapter, and show you that. These commandments are still good, sisters and brothers. And if you want to enter into uh, the kingdom of, of God, then you have to keep these. Revelation 22. And when you get there, my brother, pick it up at verse 14. We want verse 14 and 15. Yes, sir. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh the lie. That's right. So this is who will be outside the city. Everybody that break God commandments, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, um, keep them and live. So Amen. Amen. here at the Israel of God, as you all know, if you haven't been here before, we teach by subject and title. Uh, and today's subject or title, today's title, sisters and brothers, uh, is... A living dog is better than a dead lion, right? Mm -hmm. A living dog is better than a dead lion. Um, I was trying to get away from doing uh, the same lesson that I did last, last year around this time, uh, where it was uh, mainly focused on the dead, because that's, this is what the world is dealing with today. Um, really, tomorrow, you have uh, uh, Samhain or Halloween, um, and then the following day, you have All Saints Day. And then after that, you have All Souls Day. But these are uh, uh, pagan uh, customs, sisters and brothers. That, and, and the church has adopted them, and they have become doctrine of devils. They've always been, because they're not written in the pages of this Bible. And the God of Israel uh, has never commanded us to, to uh, indulge in these things. So um, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Uh, is Jesus the God of the living? Or the God of the dead? God of the living. That's right. And we can read that, sisters and brothers. You know, we stand on what we can read out of this Bible. And this is what, what, what you have to stand on. If you proclaim to be a follower of uh, Christ or uh, a, a Christian or spiritual, sisters and brothers, because that's what people say these days. You know, oh, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual, right? But, you know, this is the time of the year where they say that the veil between the living and the dead is very uh, uh, thin and it's easier to, to, uh, to touch the dead and talk to your dead loved ones. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're going to see in this lesson, sisters and brothers, I'm not going to focus so much on the dead. We're going to look at life today, right? Just as uh, the Lord say, he said, I come that they might have life and have it more abundantly, mm -hmm. right? So we're going to look at this abundant life, sisters and brothers. We'll deal with, with the dead a little bit. You know, we'll uh, deal with um, faith. We'll deal with life. And we'll deal with hope. You know, because these are things that um, are written in the pages of the Bible. And they're uh, um, conducive to salvation. Um, but again, you know, the world, they're dealing with this, uh, this pagan custom that is worshiping the dead. And really, you know, it's a, um, it's a satanic Sabbath day. If you go and look, everything that the Lord do, Satan mimics it. You know, mm -hmm. of course, we know he has his church. He has his ministers. He even has his own Sabbath days. Right. And, you know, it's it. It's a whole chart. If you guys get time, look it up or else ask me for it. I share it with you. You know, Yule is there, which is what everybody will be dealing with in a couple of months. You know, you have uh, uh, Easter is there. Um, it's dealing with the winter solstice as well as the summer solstice. And it's even dealing with Halloween, sisters and brothers. But the world is, has been blinded 
and they are ignorant to the truth, sisters and brothers. And so we're going to put it on the table today. Um, one thing uh, that I hope you guys will take away from today's lesson is, uh, you know, the reason why a living dog is better than a dead lion, as well as, um, you know, the, uh, uh, the answer, just like in the Bible, you can read, I say, you know, always be ready to give an answer for the reason or the hope that you have. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, keep that in mind as we go through these verses today. And uh, I hope you guys can uh, take that away. So we're going to start this off, sisters and brothers, in Ecclesiastes, the ninth chapter. Ecclesiastes 9. Ecclesiastes 9. And when you get there, Brother Wynn, pick it up at verse. Um, do I have one on there? Yes, sir. Okay. We'll pick it up at verse 1. And we're going to read some of it. Go well, ahead. For all this I considered in my heart, even to declare all this, that the righteous and the wise in their works are in the hand of God. It's all in the hand of God, sisters and brothers, orchestrated by God. Read. No man knoweth either love or hatred by all that is before them. Go ahead. All things come alike to all. There is one event to the righteous and to the wicked. Uh-oh, to the righteous and the wicked. We all got one thing coming. Go ahead and read. To the good and to the clean. Uh-huh. To the unclean. I'm sorry, and to the unclean. Go ahead. To him that sacrifice and to him that sacrifice not. Uh-huh. As is as is the good, so is the sinner. Go ahead. And he that sweareth and he that feareth an oath. Okay, so what is it, my brother? Go ahead and read verse 3. This is an evil among all things that are done under the sun. Go ahead. That there is one event unto all. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil. That's right. The heart of the sons of men is evil continuously, sisters and brothers. That's why the, uh, why the Lord flooded the world uh, uh, in the days of Noah, right? Because of the wickedness of man. You know, but go ahead and read. And madness is in their heart while they live. Uh-huh. Go and ahead. And after that, they go to the dead. They go to the dead, sisters and brothers, not to heaven. You ain't going into purgatory. You go to the dead. But go ahead and read. For to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. That's right. So to everybody that's, and that's the title, you know, that's the title right there. But to everybody that is joined to the Living there is hope, sisters and brothers, uh, for a living dog is better than a dead lion. And we're going to get some understanding of that today. Amen? Amen. All right. Uh, go ahead and read, brother. For the living knoweth that they shall die, uh -huh. but the dead know not anything. They don't know nothing, sisters and brothers. They're not looking down from heaven. You know, oh, man, I wish I could still draw that. Or, or, oh, man, I used to, oh, man, you know. Hey, they don't know nothing. Go ahead and read. Neither have they any more a reward. Uh-huh. For the memory of them is forgotten. That's right. All the things that you like and indulged in, you know, whether it's uh, uh, your family or your friends or whatever it was that you indulge in, sisters and brothers, you don't have no more reward because you are, uh, your memory has been forgotten. Go ahead and read. Also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Uh-huh. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. That's right. Your love is perished, your hatred, your envy. So how you looking down at your loved ones? Smiling, sisters and brothers. It's, it's perished. You don't have it no more. Hmm. Go ahead and read. Uh, skip down. down to verse, uh, yep, uh, verse 8, my brother. Let thy garment be always white. And let thy head lack no ointment. That's right. Let thy garments be always white. The fine uh, 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 linen, white linen of the saints is the righteousness of the saints, sisters and brothers. And that ointment is this word of God. Mm -hmm. Right. Skip down to verse 10 and read. Whatsoever thy hand find to do, do it with all thy might. Uh -huh. for, there is, for there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge nor wisdom in the grave whether thou goest. That's right. So he tell you again, sisters and brothers, you know, when you die, that breath that God uh, breathed into man when he became a living soul, that breath or that uh, uh, spirit, it go back to God. And we go back to the dirt, to the dust of the ground, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Isaiah, the 38th chapter. 
Isaiah 38 chapter, and this is going to be the last place. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the last. Well, because we're going to answer that question, sisters and brothers. You know, we're going to answer that question um, about that hope, right? Isaiah 38. And when you get there, my brother, pick it up at verse 9. Um, but I give you a little background. Uh, this is uh, uh, Isaiah, and he's talking about the, uh, uh, King Hezekiah. He was sick unto death, and he prayed to the Lord, and the Lord added uh, uh, years unto his life, sisters and brothers. And, and so now we're going to look and see what Hezekiah had to write and say about this, right? Mm -hmm. So when you get there, brother, verse 9, go ahead and read. The writing of Hezekiah, king of Judah, when he had been sick and was recovered of his sickness. I said in the cutting of my days, I shall go to the gates of the grave. I am deprived of the residue of my years. That's right, the residue of that years. You know, the oldest man recorded was what, 969? And then the Lord cut the years down, uh, 120. Now it's what, 80 years old by reason of strength. But he said, you know, I'm deprived of the residue of my years, sisters and brothers. I'm about to go to the grave. But go ahead and read. Hmm. I said, I shall not see the Lord, even the Lord in the land of the living. Go ahead. I shall behold man no more with the inhabitants of the world. That's right. I'm not going to withhold man. I'm not going to see the Lord with the inhabitants of the world. Go ahead and read. My age is departed. And is removed from me as a shepherd's tent. Uh huh. Go ahead. I have cut off. I have cut off like a, like a weaver. Like a weaver, my life. Go ahead. He will cut me off with pinking sickness. With pinning sickness. That's right. With pining sickness, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. Even Hezekiah was sick to death. Go ahead and read. From day even to night will thou make an end of me. Uh huh. Go ahead. I reckon till morning that as a lion. So will he break all my bones. Skip down to verse 15 and read, brother. What shall I say? He hath both spoken unto me and himself have done. He hath both spoken unto me and himself have done it. Go ahead. I shall go softly all my years in the bitterness of my soul. Uh-huh. O Lord, by these things men live. And in all these things is the life of my spirit. Go ahead. So wilt thou recover me and make me to live. Right. Every, and... You know, he had the hope of the resurrection, sisters and brothers, because he said, you know, by these things men live, right? Um, and all these things is the life of my spirit, right? All of these things that we deal with in life. But he had this hope. He said, so will thou recover me and make me to live? See, this is something that the average person understands that... Uh, um, that God put eternal life back on the table, but they just have a, a, a bad understanding of the way that the Lord has laid this thing out, right? We've been taught that we're going to heaven and, you know, you are uh, composed of a body and soul and spirit and all of these things that uh, separate. But at the end of the day, they have a bad understanding of this, sisters and brothers, as well as the resurrection of the dead. You know, and when you will receive the reward for either righteousness or for wickedness. But go ahead and read verse 17. Hmm. Behold, for peace I had great bitterness, but thou hast in love to my soul delivered it from the pit of corruption. Uh -huh, from the pit of corruption, sisters and brothers. This is the grave, right? Go ahead and read. For thou hast cast all my sins behind thy back. Uh huh. Because he added to his life 15 years, sisters and brothers. Because uh, Hezekiah prayed to the Lord and the Lord heard it. Mm -hmm. So he added these, these 15 years to him. But even so, sisters and brothers, when you look at it, um, we still have an appointment with it. He still died. But go ahead and read. Mm. For the grave cannot praise thee. Death cannot celebrate thee. They that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. That's right. So mm. to all the living, there is hope, sisters and brothers. That's right. And this is that hope that we hope for the Lord's truth. Right. And dealing with this word and understanding his plan for us, salvation, so that we can uh, uh, live more abundant, you know, in this life, but 
expecting for the life to come, sisters and brothers. And that's the hope, you know, that's the reason for the hope that you should have uh, uh, and, and be ready to answer anybody that asks you, you know. God is creating God. And, you know, I keep his Sabbath day, his feast days, you know. I serve the Lord in uh, uh, truth and righteousness according to this Bible because this is what I am hoping to receive. Because this is what he has promised in righteousness and in truth. It's written in this Bible, you mm -hmm. know. That's what I love about the Israel of God. Everything that we deal with, we read it. It's not Brother Wendell said this and, you know, Brother Alvin said that or, you know, Brother Solomon said this. No, these brothers read these things. But that is the hope, sisters and brothers, and that is why a living dog is better than a dead lion, so that you can receive this truth and deliver yourself. Mm. Was that the end of that? Uh, verse 19, verse go ahead. 19. The living, the living, he shall praise thee. Uh -huh, the living gonna praise him, because he's the God of the living, not the God of the dead, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. and, Everybody who ever lived that died, the Lord going to bring them back. You're going to live forever. Go ahead. As I do this day. No, yep. Yeah, as, as I do this day. Go ahead and read. The father to the children shall make known thy truth. Right. He's going to make known the truth. You're supposed to train your children up, sisters and brothers, to know this truth. But the world, boy, they got a bad understanding. Oh, you know, it was a sister at the job. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm taking the dog. This weekend off because this is my... My grandbaby's first uh, Halloween. <laughs> and I'm like, you, you're not throwing them in fire, in the fire like Israel used to do, say, children, but you're training them up to jump in the fire themselves. Because mm. you're supposed to teach them. Mm. But go ahead and read. The Lord was ready to save me. Therefore, we will sing my songs to the string instruments all the days of our life in the house of the Lord. That's right, because the Lord was ready to save Hezekiah, sisters and brothers, because he was upright, sisters and brothers. Hmm. And so he said, for that, um, therefore will I, will, uh, we will sing songs with string instruments to the Lord all the days of our life in the house of God. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you know, they continued to walk in this thing, sisters and brothers, because they saw the goodness of, of, of the Lord. Just like I see on all of y'all. You know, the Lord is good. And his mercy endures forever to all generations, mm. right? And we are alive and here today to be able to uh, uh, give praises to God, sisters and brothers, mm -hmm. and worship him and be obedient unto his word. So, mm. you know, glory to God for that, sisters and brothers. Amen. Now let's go into Titus, the first chapter. Amen, my brother. Let's go into Titus, the first chapter. Praise God. You know, it's a... It's hard to see people deal with death when they don't understand it. But when you understand it, you know, you understand, especially if you have somebody in your life and they, they die, but they die right. You know, it, it's harder when you know that they didn't, you know, because then you have to, uh, uh, you, you have to cope with that, sisters and brothers. But God is the judge, right? And he is a righteous judge. So, you know, even though they didn't, to this truth sisters and brothers you never know because look at the thief on the cross you know he repented at that last hour and the Lord say you know today will you be with me in paradise so you know that's the hope too as well for all of those that we lose sisters and brothers you know we hope that the Lord will have mercy on them let's go into Titus we want Titus the first chapter mm -hmm. mm. where Titus at now <laughs> Right after Timothy. No. <laughs> right before he Titus, did. the first chapter. We want verses 1 through 3. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness. You know, I heard the acknowledging of the truth, sisters and brothers. You know, because what you hear is truth. Did you have to make the choice, sisters and brothers, whether you're going to... Uh, Walk in godliness according to this word or whether you're not going to. You know, you're going to deal with the traditions that you have been taught in the world. But mm. go ahead and read. In Verse hope two. of. Go ahead. Okay. In hope of ever. In hope of eternal life. 
which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. That's right. He cannot lie, sisters and brothers. He is mm. not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he should repent. But he has promised us eternal life mm -hmm. before the world began. Mm. No, death was added because of sin. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. We weren't supposed to die and it's just an interruption in life because we will all live forever. Where are you living at? On the good side? Mm -hmm. On the good side? Okay, uh, 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 over here? On the good side? Yes, sir. And that's mm -hmm. why y'all here today. But go mm -hmm. ahead and read. But have in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior. Right, because this is how we receive this truth, sisters and brothers. Paul, uh, uh, the apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect. Israel mm. was chosen to preach this word to all nations. Mm. And to tell you, guess what? Uh, that hope is of eternal life. So keep his commandments and live, sisters and brothers. Let's go to Romans, the eighth chapter. Yes, sir, my brother. Romans, the eighth chapter. Teach, brother. I'm going to try to get out of here on time today so I can drink my coffee. <laughs> I tell you, man, I, I can't drink the coffee and stand up here and give a lesson. So I wait till I'm done and then I drink my coffee. So let's hurry up and get out of here so I can have my coffee. No, just After we had this good word, right? <laughs> the sincere milk of the word. Mm -hmm. Romans 8, we want 20. That's the creamer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got the creamer. <laughs> Romans 8, we want verse 24 and 25. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. For we are saved by hope. But what hope that is seen, I'm sorry, but hope that is seen is not hope. That's right. So we say by hope, sisters and brothers, uh, just like we just did to stick to the script. You know, the title was you wasn't saved in 1985. And then uh, brother ASAP was like, you right, brother, just you were saved in 85. You weren't saved in 1785. You weren't saved at Disneyland. You weren't saved at Walmart in the parking lot, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. Because if you had it, he said that we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. We walk by faith, not by sight. We don't have it yet. Hmm. But go ahead and read. For what a man seeth, why do he yet hope for? That's right. Man, you know, already paid me. I paid a cat to uh, put a motor in my car one time. <laughs> and every time I go over there, he was sleeping. And my uncle Judah was like, man, go over there and get your money back. So I go over there, I'm like, hey, man, uh, just give me the money back. I'll find somebody else to do it. He jumped up, started putting the motor in the car. <laughs> Straight up. Right? He already got the payday. So you know why he go do the work. Right, right. Yeah, he jumped up. I was, I, I was cruising down the street in about a week. And he was riding. <laughs> Straight up. But yeah, so... You know, we are saved by hope, sisters and brothers, mm -hmm. and we walk by faith, not by sight. And we are waiting to receive this eternal life, sisters and brothers, that we are hoping for. Right. Now let's go into Hebrews, the 11th chapter. You want to read 25? What verse? Yeah, 25. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. That's right. We hope for that we see not because we don't got it yet. So with patience, do we Wait for it. They tell you you have need of patience that um, after you have, man, I'm messing this up. After you have uh, uh, um, done what you're supposed to do, then you might receive the promise, basically, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. So you do the work, and at the end of the week, you receive the payday. Okay? Amen. So Hebrews, the 11th chapter. Hebrews 11. Yeah, man, every time I went over there, he laid up. I'm like, man, <laughs> come on, man, when you going to start the car? <laughs> Hebrews 11. You know, because you got to believe this thing, sisters and brothers. If you don't believe it, you're not going to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Just like you say, he that believes and is baptized, the same shall be saved when he come back with the reward, right? But if you don't believe it, you know, you're not going to uh, uh, pursue that eternal life, sisters and brothers. So you got to believe this thing. 
Hebrews 11 and verse 1. Go ahead. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Go ahead. For by it the elders obtained obtain a good report. That's right. See, they believe that faith is the substance of things that's hoped for, sisters and brothers. The substance of things that's hoped for. But it's the evidence of things that's not seen. Mm -hmm. The elders obtained a good report by faith. You know, they believed it and they, they, uh, they did what was required, sisters and brothers, and waited patiently, just like we have to, because we all going to receive it at the same time. Go ahead and read. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, uh -huh. so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. That's right, because the word of God tell us this, and we believe his word, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. The word tell us that all of these things were framed by God, right? He created them just, as, just like he created us from the dust of the ground. So that all things which are seen were not made of things which do appear, right? Mm. Like that, that, uh, that comet that appeared and came and supposedly uh, uh, caused the Big Bang, sisters mm. and brothers. That's not the way that it happened. Mm -mm. Go ahead and read. By faith. Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Uh-huh. Go ahead. By which he obtained witness, witness that he was righteous. That's right, because he gave his best to the Lord, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. And it's an example for us. You know, give your best before the Lord, sisters and brothers, so that the Lord will uh, um, receive it. And he obtained a witness that he was righteous. So when you do well, sisters and brothers then this is what you have to uh, look forward to. Go ahead and read. God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. That's right. So God testifying of his gifts when his brother killed him, sisters and brothers. Yeah, his blood cried out to the Lord from the ground, right? Mm. And by it he being dead yet speaketh, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord saw that he was uh, uh, um, willing to serve him. And give his all, sisters and brothers. And the Lord know those that are his. If you ain't none of his, then he don't know you. Mm -hmm. Right? Of course, you always used to hear it in the Sunday church. God is a covenant God. But they wouldn't even tell you what the covenant was, sisters and brothers. And you ask them the question and then they get mad at you. Because they can't answer it. So maybe they weren't sent by the Lord. Hint, hint. But go ahead and read. Mm -hmm. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. Man, he was translated. He walked with God for 300 years, mm. and they say he was not. He didn't taste death, sisters and brothers. He did not see death by faith. Man, you imagine, even with Moses. Moses went up into the mount 40 days, didn't eat or drink, came down, went back up 40 days. His face started to shine. Hmm. He started to take on that, uh, um, that glory of God, sisters and brothers. Hmm. And this is what we hoping for. Where well, you can't die. And you have all power like he did when he came out the grave, sisters and brothers. Appearing to people and they didn't recognize him. And then he shall reveal himself to you. He ascended back to the third heaven that can't no man approach to. You don't have a clue what that looked like. The water above the waters. He hung the sun in the sky, the stars, the moon, hmm. for days and times and seasons. Teach, brother. I can't imagine what that power feel like, sisters and brothers, but I know that he's not going to let you uh, exercise it if you're not right. Hmm. So you got to be right to be able to exercise it. Otherwise, you're going to exercise trying to cool off in that lake that burned with fire and brimstone, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. I don't think you could fare fast enough. <laughs> but go ahead and read. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death. Go ahead. And was not found. He was not found, right? Because he reserved under chains of darkness, sisters and brothers. But as soon as that sky cracked, that first resurrection, boom, there you go. Mm. Just like all those that died in Christ. Here they come. They come in with them. A whole new crop of God, sisters and brothers. But go ahead and read. Because God had translated him. 
for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Do you have that testimony, sisters and brothers? Hmm. You know, can you honestly say, oh, you know what, I'm truly working on that. You know, I'm trying to have this testimony while I please God. You know, just like, uh, who is that that say, you know, he must increase, I must decrease. Right? You got to humble yourself and the Lord will exalt you in due time. But go ahead, verse 6. He pleased God, sisters and brothers. Go ahead and read. But without faith, it is impossible to please it's him. It's impossible to please him without faith. You got to believe this thing. Go ahead and read. For he that come to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That's right. If you come to God, you got to believe that he is and that he going to reward you for diligently seeking him. Continually seek his face, sisters and brothers. Let's go to Romans, the fifth chapter. Amen. Romans, the fifth chapter. Be encouraged, sisters and brothers, by this word. Because mm -hmm. this is what it's for. For, uh, for comfort and encouragement, sisters and brothers. He put this truth here for us to be able to endure this word, this world. Romans 5. Romans 5, and we want verse uh, 1 and 2, and we're going to skip. Go ahead. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. So, through faith, sisters and brothers, uh, we have been justified. It's a little bit more to it, but we're going to read it. Um, but we have peace with God, sisters and brothers. We have peace with God by uh, being obedient to his word. Because when you're disobedient, then you are uh, enmity against God. Right. Go ahead and read. By whom also we have access by faith unto this grace wherein we stand. Oh, you got to have uh, uh, faith to have access to this grace, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody have access to it, sisters and brothers. But if you don't believe it, then you're not going to exercise what is necessary to receive that grace. Mm. And you're not going to receive it. You're going to die for your own sins. Go ahead. And rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And that's what we rejoice in, sisters and brothers, in the hope of the glory. That same glory that Moses had. You know, that e Enoch is reserved. He got it. You know, in uh, Hebrews 11, where you read about all of the patriarchs and all them other people who died in faith. You know, it said that they're going to receive it. Hmm. And so this is what we rejoice in, sisters and brothers, that hope that we're going to receive it too. What all this that we do, you know, because we do a lot. The world don't want to stop running. The world don't want to shut down on the one day that the Lord uh, gave us to rest. You know, they don't want to uh, take heed to this word. They want to deal with the traditions of men. Oh, because my grandma, you know, she went to this church all her life and I was raised up in this church, you know. I'm, I was a Baptist born, I'm gonna be a Baptist gone. And they really say that. They really say that. Oh, well I know about the Lord's Sabbath day. Oh, you do? Yeah, but see the reason why we go to church on Sunday, but you know about the Lord's Sabbath day, so he has showed it to you. And you reject it. Hmm. What verse? Verse five. Go ahead. And hope maketh not ashamed. That's right. I'm not ashamed of this gospel mm -hmm. or the Sabbath day or the feast days or whatever it is that the Lord commanded us to do. Right. Because hope maketh not ashamed. Go ahead and read. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. That's right. It's shed abroad by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us, sisters and brothers. Everybody don't have it, though they claim they do. You know, hmm. he told you. He to keep the commandments, you know, keep the commandments and then I will send you the comforter. But you ain't keeping the commandments. Ah, oh, y'all ain't got to keep them old commandments. Y'all legalists. You know. But he told you, if you love me, keep my, oh, I love the Lord. But you don't keep his commandments. Go ahead and read. Hmm. For when we were without strength. In due time, Christ died for the ungodly. That's right, because couldn't no man save you? Couldn't no amount of money save you mm -mm. from the grave, sisters and brothers? Mm. So we was without strength, 
We couldn't save ourselves, and he died for the ungodly. Go ahead and read. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Scarcely for a righteous man. Go ahead and read. Yet preadventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. Some would even dare. I mean, I might die for that brother, but when it <laughs> comes down to it, man, there'd be nowhere to be seen. <laughs> I dare you. Huh? Oh, man, I got something to do. I got to go to uh, <laughs> choir practice. <laughs> that was a low blow, y'all. We got choir practice. <laughs> well, praise the Lord. Praise God. I pray we get it together. But mm. go ahead, uh, verse 8. <laughs> but God commended his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Man, what? Man, ain't no greater love than that. He said, while we was yet sinners, stab him in the back. He died for us. Mm. Man. That's a real friend. They say a real friend tell you when your face dirty. Boy, he died for you. Go ahead and read. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. Oh, by faith in his blood, we justified, sisters and brothers, mm. and we shall be saved from what? Read that again. We shall be saved from the wrath through him. That's what we trying to get saved from, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. And that didn't happen in 85. That wrath ain't here yet. Mm. 2005 no you know you had some bad things go on in some of these amusement parks but hey when the lord come and even before the lord come it say it's gonna be a time that's so terrible it wasn't a time like before and it won't be a time like after it did you got to deal with the wrath of god if you ain't right sisters and brothers and if you be so lucky to make all of that and you still ain't right you might just die right before it then he gonna wake you up yeah. Oh, you know, you ain't got to fear the Lord. You know, God is love. Yeah, you better fear him. He had the power to kill you and wake you up and kill you again forever, sisters and brothers, in that lake of fire. So that's what we are hoping to be saved from, from his wrath, mm. all the way down to the last day. Because flesh and blood can't inherit the kingdom of God, sisters and brothers. So you're going to live forever in that lake of fire. And this is what the world don't understand. Mm. You know, everybody that died, they always go to heaven. Oh, happy heavenly birthday. Happy uh, uh, every year, you know. But they in the grave, sisters and brothers. Jesus told you that no man has ascended up to heaven any time. And he dwell in that light that no man can approach unto. Is that the end of that? Yes, sir. Let's go into Colossians, the first chapter. Hmm. Colossians, the first chapter. Speech, my brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get ready for this coffee. Got the cream. <laughs> ready for my coffee. Colossians 1, and when you get there, my brother, we want verse 3. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Since we heard of your faith in Jesus, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love which he have to all the saints. That's right. So Jesus had loved all his saints, sisters and brothers, you know, but truth be told, too. I mean, God, he loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. No. But the world take it for granted. Go ahead and read. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven. Hold on, man. You got saved over there uh, last week. <laughs> no? No, no. It's reserved, sisters and brothers, is laid up for you in heaven. Because when Jesus died, he ascended back to the third heaven. Mm -hmm. And uh, Psalm 110 said he is sitting on the right hand of the Father, waiting, expecting to make his enemies his footstool. And say he going to fill the places with dead bodies when he come back. The slaying of the Lord is going to be from one end of earth to the other. So this hope and that reward is laid up for us, whether it's a reward, a wicked reward, or a righteous reward, sisters and brothers. It's coming. Amen. You better get ready for the coming of the Lord. <laughs> Go ahead and read. Word of ye heard before in the word of the truth. Uh-huh. And this word, word is written. 
we have heard before of the word and the truth, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. That's that hope, right? Mm -hmm. The truth that we are hearing right now, out of the words that's written, out of the mouth of two, two, of fact, two or more witnesses. It's, it's two witnesses right here. On top of the third one, which is this word, sisters and brothers, it testifies of itself. Amen. But go ahead and read. Hmm. Whereof ye heard before in the word of truth of the gospel, which is come unto you as it is in, as it is in all the world. Go ahead. And bring it forth fruit. Go ahead. As it doeth also in you, since the day ye heard of it and knew the grace of God in truth. That's right. So this word bring forth fruit, sisters and brothers, mm -hmm. for all that accept it and receive it. And we supposed to bring forth fruit, sisters and brothers, the fruits of the spirit. And spreading this word, just like we've been commanded to, to bring more and uh, other fruit to the Lord, sisters and brothers. That's the Great Commission. We have been given the Ministry of Reconciliation. We're supposed to put this word on the table, and we're not trying to convert nobody. The word will convert you. Mm -hmm. He said, plant mm -hmm. the seed. Somebody else going to water it, but God is going to get an increase. Amen. But go ahead and read. Verse 9. Yes, sir. Skip down to 9. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you. Go ahead. He and said it again, sisters and brothers. And that's what we got to do for each other. We got we to gotta stay prayed up. We got to pray for each other. Go ahead and read. And to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Uh-huh. Go ahead. That ye may walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasings. Uh-huh. Being fruitful in every good work. Go ahead. And increasing in the knowledge of God. Right. You got to study this word, sisters and brothers. To show yourself approved, a workman under God, where, you know, they're not going to put you to shame when you start talking. You can show the people, well, look, man, you know, hey, look, this say that your, uh, your husband, he's not in heaven. Or, you know, um, the dead, they're not coming up until the last day. Ain't nobody in heaven, whether they receive it or not. But go ahead and read. Verse 11. Strengthen with all might. According to his glorious power and to all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. That's right, because the Lord never put more on you than you could bear, sisters and brothers, but be strengthened with all might according to this word, sisters and brothers, and the glorious power of God through this word that he has given unto us. Go ahead and read. Unto, he said, unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness, right? Bring it forth fruit, right? Because these are fruits of the spirit right here. But go ahead and read. Giving thanks unto the Father, which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. That's right. He has given us, uh, uh, made us to be able to partake in that eternal life, sisters and brothers, with the rest of the saints. With all of those that died in faith. With Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. With uh, Enoch. With all the disciples, that are the apostles, sisters and brothers who got a sure end, it's available and ready for the taking, sisters and brothers. Go ahead and read. Who have delivered us from the power of darkness. Go ahead. And have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. That's right, but That's when right. we going to get it? At the last day. Mm -hmm. We have to endure to the end, whether it's the end of our life, as we know it here, sisters and brothers, or it, and, unless we are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord. And it's looking like it's going to be soon, you know, the way that things are shaping up with this prophecy. You know, I tell people all the time, you know, what you look for is what the Lord has given us in this generation. You know, with the, uh, that temple being built and the man of sin being revealed, he going to sit in that temple. And people are really going to think that God is back on this earth, mm. you know, because he going to do miracles and he going to deceive the world. Mm -hmm. Right. They say he's going to make a, 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 a statue and it's going to walk and talk. He's going to make fire come down from heaven. I had this thing. It was a picture of uh, Vatican, that, uh, that church in, in Vatican City. And on the top of uh, one of those um, uh, buildings, they captured a picture of lightning hitting it. You yeah. know, and I thought about that. I say, but now nah, this is going to be uh, uh, in the sight of men. You know, people, they're going to see this. And it's going to be instant. 
you know, he gonna have the power to do this by saving the devil, sisters and brothers. And so these are the things that we look for. These are future prophecies that's coming, that's written for our admonishment, for our understanding, and to be a, a, a light and a guide to us. But go ahead and read. 14. And whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. That's right. So we have forgiveness of sin, sisters and brothers, through the blood of Jesus and we have been redeemed sisters and brothers but that's all we have to do is fulfill our part Jesus fulfilled his part in the flesh sisters and brothers not ours but he has not fulfilled all that is written of him he will come back and we're gonna take a look at a few things that's gonna happen a few things that's gonna transpire sisters and brothers at his second coming so you know be strengthened uh, according to the glorious power of God, sisters and brothers, and bring forth fruit, right? That's me for repentance and continue in this, in this word, knowing and trusting and hoping, sisters and brothers, in the reward that's to come. Now let's go into 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter. You want to hit 18? 2 Corinthians 12. Okay. Is that what you got? Yeah, I got 18 on that one. You got 18? Oh, no, you got 12. Oh. Did you read that, 18? No, sir. Oh, I think I read it. And he, is, and he is the head of the body, the church, right, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, mm -hmm. that in all things he might have preeminence. Mm. He going to call it, he the shot caller, sisters and brothers. He been the shot caller from the beginning. That's right. 2 Corinthians 12. He had a preeminence. He was the first fruits from the dead. And they that are his at his coming, sisters and brothers. Go ahead, verse 6. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. Go ahead. For I will, for I will say the truth. But now I forbear lest any man should think of me above that which he have seen me to be or that he heareth of me. That's right. So, you know, he's not glorying in himself, sisters and brothers. This, this is Paul. He's humbling himself, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. And he didn't want anybody to exalt him or put him on any kind of pedestal. Right. And this is how we have to be with each other. You know, you see people come through at the Israel of God with, like, money and with status. But, well, you understand it, we all flesh and blood. You can't take it with you. And it don't make you any better than anybody else because you have it or you don't have it. And God is not a respecter of persons. So whether you have it or you don't have it, he is looking at uh, your, your heart, sisters and brothers. You know, what you're doing with all that money that you got, you know. Are you taking care of the Lord business? Are, are you taking care of your family? You know, these are things that we have to uh, apply we, uh, uh, according to the word to our day-to-day -day lives. But go ahead and read. Mm -hmm. for, lest I, for lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelation. Oh man, pride go before a fall, sisters and brothers. And we can read that, but go ahead. There was given to me a thorn in the flesh. Uh-oh, go ahead. The messenger of Satan to buffer me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Right, so he said that, you know, he had a thorn in the flesh, sisters and brothers, but he wasn't going to exalt himself, you know, because then Satan was going to come and buffer them, sisters and brothers, by the hands of the Lord, you know, because the Lord sent him, just like with Nebuchadnezzar. You see, he had him out in the field eating uh, grass like the beast of the field, sisters and brothers, because he exalted himself. Hmm. And so this is what you could expect Will you do the same. But go ahead and read. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. Right. Whatever that thorn is, sisters and brothers, and I mean, we all have something. Right? And we got to seek the Lord. Whatever your infirmity is or whatever it is that you're going through or whatever it is that you're dealing with or whatever it is that you want to do. Inquire of the Lord. Seek the Lord, sisters and brothers. He said, I besought the Lord three times, but... It didn't depart from him. Go ahead and read what the Lord say. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. That's right. His grace was sufficient, sisters and brothers. 
again, be strengthened with all might according to God's glorious power that we just read, sisters and brothers. And he told Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. Go ahead and read. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Uh -huh. He said, my strength is made perfect in weakness, sisters and brothers. Go ahead and read. Most gladly, therefore, I will rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Uh -huh. Go ahead and read. Therefore, I take pleasure in my infirmities and reproaches and necessities and the persecutions and the distress for Christ's sake. That's right. That go, when I, go ahead. That when I am weak, then I am strong. That's right. By humbling yourself, sisters and brothers, that trusted in the Lord and in his grace, sisters and brothers. He said, uh, you know, I take pleasure in infirmities, right? And it reproaches, you know, when the Lord uh, chastised you for doing something wrong. Uh, and in necessities, you know, trusting in the Lord that he going to provide. And in persecutions, you know, all of these things are uh, dealing with the things that we hope for while we in this flesh. 